Well, from motorcycle gangs to ex-boyfriends, the saga of two local teens charged with murder and burglary continues to get even more complicated by the day. And now, new court documents show us how the well-publicized disappearance of one teen led to the violent murder of a 51-year-old man. Now, it turns out the disappearance was possibly a sham. Investigators think 16-year-old Gabriel Davies staged the entire thing. And we're finally getting an answer to the question we've all been wondering for days. Why? Fox 13's Maria Garcia joining us now from the newsroom with more on this. And Maria, detectives believe that the connection here is pretty clear. Yes, good morning, guys. And when I say that there's a lot of moving parts here, there are a lot of moving parts. Investigators learned that the victim, 51-year-old Daniel McCaw, had previously been in a relationship with Gabriel Davies' mother. As for why the teen is accused of killing him, that is where things get even more strange. According to court documents, Davies' father contacted police saying that his son was approached by McCaw's, quote, biker buddies demanding that he go and steal something from the man's home. That's when Davies allegedly confided in Justin Yoon, the other teen that is charged. And the two of them developed a plot to steal that item out of McCaw's safe. They do admit to sneaking through McCaw's doggy door and also stabbing him when he came into the house. Davies' father also says his son told him that the biker buddies were members of a specific outlaw motorcycle club and that they're the ones that ditched his car that was found abandoned during that search for him. But it turns out the teens never actually stole anything from McCaw's home, something prosecutors say is telling. The defendant staged his disappearance after the crime. We know that he made attempts to conceal evidence. He did come forward uh, after his arrest uh, and did show law enforcement the location of uh, guns and knives. But I think overall his actions are of concern. The court documents also detail surveillance video from McCaw's home that shows two people arrive, crawl through the dog door, and a few minutes later after McCaw is seen going inside, both people fled the home, both carrying something and wearing gloves. Detectives say that they believe it was Davies and Yoon in that footage. The two appeared in court yesterday, both pleading not guilty to a number of charges from first-degree murder to burglary to unlawful possession of a firearm. Bail has been uh, set at $1 million for both. Their next appearance is set for October 6th. And you can see all of those charging documents yourself in full. They are on our website. That's fox13seattle.com. Back to you.